for meditation today, we have very beautiful verse from uh, Prathas Manami Shlokam. There are three verses written by Shankaracharya. The first verse is a very beautiful verse. I thought, I, I, I mean, uh, it was played in our divine courts, uh, in, in our uh, divine daily uh, quotes which we share on the WhatsApp. Uh, last week it was shared and I thought it would be very beautiful verse for meditation also. Many of us have a question. How do I start my day in the morning? All of us, we go to sleep. All of us get up. What should be my first thought when I get up? That is what is explained in this verse. In the morning, when I get up, the first thing I remember is Atma, which is shining in the heart. Just now we, dis we did this reflection of consciousness. I remember that there is a consciousness which is the life of the whole universe. That life is shining in this body, in this buddhi. So I, I salute that Atma first. That, what is the nature of that? Satchit Ananda Swarupaha. Now this is what Paramahamsa Sannyasis remember. As soon as they get up in the morning, a jiva should remember that that pure consciousness, which is the life of the whole universe, substratum of the whole universe, is reflected in this body. And I am that consciousness. That is my real nature. That consciousness is called as Satchit Ananda. That Satchidananda is Turiyam, called as Turiyam. This Turiyam is the ultimate goal of all spiritual seekers. Why is the Turiyam called as the ultimate goal because it is the witness of the three states waking, dream, and deep sleep. What is that pure consciousness? It is the witness of the entire waking state, entire dream state, entire sleep state. It is only a witness. It is not affected by any event in creation. That pure consciousness is called as Brahman. And it is not divisible. It is not the Panchabhutas. See, Shankaracharya packed up the whole Vedanta in this one verse. For us to meditate, let us try to remember this verse. Maybe we don't remember all the points which are given here. If you are got a good memory, you will be able to remember all the points. What is the first number one? Point number one, it is called as Atma, the self of the universe. Point number two, it is there now. It is always there, shining. Point number three, it shines as the witness, consciousness. 
point number four it is a not affected by the waking dream or the deep sleep states which are the states of the mind and point number five it is not prakriti which is made up of five elements it is not the sthula sharira or the sukshma sharira which is made up of pancha bhutas if you want to listen if you want to uh, we have we have been playing this so if you want to listen to this uh, uh, verses uh, you want to learn it by heart i can send you the recording the recording is already there most of you already members of the daily uh, chanting which we send to all the seekers we send it to almost like a, a lot of seekers so let us try to meditate on this beautiful mantra pratas marami please close your eyes sit erect what should be my first thought on waking this is answered by shankara acharya in pratas marami shloka verse number 1 the first thing i remember is atma the self in this body the self is not the pancha bhutas which is the five elements the self is the spiritual principle the pancha bhutas are matter principle the body is a house for me the jeeva i dwell in this body for a few years body is made up of pancha bhutas i am the shining principle pure reflected consciousness in the body i am not the jeeva attached to the mind and the body the 
that is ahamkara. Atma is a witness. of the entire Jagrat Prapancha. In this body, it is the witness of the thoughts in the mind. The reflection of the pure consciousness is called as the witness of the mind. I am not a waker, dreamer, or the sleeper. I am the Thurian, the fourth state. in which there is no waking, dream or sleep. It alone is. Thuriyam is my real nature. I am Thuriyam, I am not Ahamkara. I repeat this again and again in my mind. Ahankara is always associated with the mind and the gross body or the subtle body or the causal body. I learn to detach from these three bodies. It's very easy because that is my experience. That is my nature. Aham Turiya Masmi. I am only a witness. I don't have abhimana, identification with the three sharidans. This is the fact of life. as revealed in the Veda.
अहम आत्मा अस्मि आई एम आत्मा I am not the ego which comes and goes in the three states. Atma is my intrinsic nature, real nature. waking dream sleep are incidental i am aware of thuriya in which i alone am without identification with the shariram or prapancha freedom moksha is my intrinsic nature i am never bound to the body or the three states is the revelation of pratasmarami पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्छदे पूर्ण से पूर्णमाय पूर्णमेवापशिष्य शांति शांति श
शांति Please rub your palms, place them against your eyes, and gently open your eyes. We'll repeat this meditation next week again. It's a very powerful meditation. If you learn how to do this, your day will be very, very peaceful. Try practicing it for five minutes every day for the next one week. The same meditation, you will find a lot of peace coming into your mind. 